Hello, welcome to jasonchats.com. My name's Jason. Um, just put this down so you can't see the light flashing in the mere spectacles. So, hi. Um, it's Monday the, I don't know what the date is, Monday the 9th of April. Feeling tired. I I think I was awake until about 4.30 this morning. Working on my website stuff. And I'm in the process of uploading chronic pain sessions and making videos and just getting it all organised. It's it's getting there, but it's quite time consuming. And today, I did a let me, let me boil you to sleep session, and I also did a, a hypnotic buffet, which lasted about an hour. I did that a couple of hours ago. So this is going to be a short Jason chats because I. I can't be bothered to do anything else. If I'm honest with you, I'm bored now. I don't want to do anything <laughs> uh, creatively. What was strange though is once I finished the hypnotic buffet, I do them every Monday, so I did this one, uploaded it, edited it, and then uploaded it, and added it to the Podbean podcast host, which is where I host it, and I realised that I discussed the same topic as I discussed last week, and I never really listen to anything that I do, so I might actually, it might be a regurgitation of last week, which is a bit worrying, and I do come back and cover I mean the subject matter was beliefs so I do keep coming back to beliefs and opinions limiting beliefs and that kind of stuff and I've got an itchy side the thing is because I don't plan what I'm going to say it's not a huge amount of preparation involved Although I did, I have been thinking a lot about beliefs with, you know, in the build up to doing the hypnotic buffet session today. So, yeah, I know I'm not quite sure where I'm going with all that stuff. I don't know. I don't want every session just to be about beliefs. Um, anyway. I'm feeling all right. I'm kind of my head is. I don't know if you can see that. A comparison in. You probably can't. I don't know. I can just about bend my hand a little bit now. So it's getting onto. I couldn't do that before, and I can straighten it up. It still hurts. I mean, that bit still hurts. I can't bend it into a fist. But the knuckles there, the the little knuckle there, it's, you know, it's there. Here, it's, it goes up. So that's quite weird. But it's, um, it's healing. It's healing, which is good. I was a bit worried a while back, like a few days ago, because it was still hurting. But now it's, it only hurts when I bash it. You know, bash the hand. So, just put some food in the oven, I'm going to add that to eat. And then, I'm going to watch The Walking Dead. And that's it really. Um, I'm feeling quite low right now. I'm not really sure why. Uh, I took Andre for a walk earlier. 
but I'm feeling quite, I don't know. I went to the petrol station, bought some tobacco. So I'm still not quit, still not stopped smoking. I'm trying, I'm well, but I just, at the moment, uh, for some reason I feel the need for it, so I'm doing that. And I bought a lighter, so I said oh, I'll have a, a lighter, a clipper, lighter. And the lady behind the counter said, what colour do you want? And she said, oh no, she didn't, she didn't answer like that. She said, is it for you or is it for a lady? I said, what is it? What difference? I didn't say, but what difference does that make? How, well, they do separate special lighters for women now, do they? I wasn't aware of that. And she said, oh, what colour do you want? You don't want, if it's for you, you don't want pink, do you? And I actually like pink. I like the colour pink. There was a time back in 2004, no, maybe 2005, 2006 even. 2006, I'm sure I used to have a pink top. I used to walk around with a pink top. Pink doesn't represent anything. It's just so, just the idea of pink clothing represents sexuality. No, it doesn't. And the idea, again, going back to these beliefs, it's like, oh, if you wear pink, therefore you must be gay. If you wear pink, or if you like a colour pink, if you have a, uh, or if you have a colour, uh, a pink lighter, that's only for women, it can't be for men. Those just stupid beliefs that are just based on nothing, based on just passing down stupidity, stupid opinions, down to the next generation of stupid opinion swallowers. This just, just seems just, just ridiculous. I'm, I'm angry. I'm so angry. I'm not not angry at her. I just I can see that it's it's like sometimes you know when people say uh, they say something. I don't know. I'll give you an example. One of my landladies. I said, "Oh." Um, got to go to the, or, no, I was, uh, I got to go to the little girl's room, instead of the toilet, little, you know, or, and she said, don't you mean little boy's room? Like, I wouldn't accidentally say little girl's room, I said it just as a, upper example, just, these sayings and phrases that were maybe amusing, hundred years ago, 200 years ago, whatever. And people, uh, some people have installed it into the English language when it doesn't, it's just a, a phrase. It doesn't, doesn't really have meaning. They've added meaning to it. And so it's, it's like part of the language and it's I don't know, like it's raining cats and dogs as an example. I don't use that phrase, I don't use that that phrase of speaking and so if I say oh it's raining it, elephants and pigs someone would correct me and say don't you mean cats and dogs? Or they might not understand what I mean when I say you know cats, when people say it's raining cats and dogs it's just like it's raining hard I think, I think that's what it means. Just seem to be getting stuck on this whole belief stuff. This I like the idea of thinking for myself. It took so many years for me to actually have any degree of I was going to use the word belief, 
but confidence maybe within my own thinking, my own thoughts. At the same time, realizing that that's all they are. They're just thoughts, they're just ideas, they're just opinions. Not even opinions, I don't, I'm not holding on to them with any kind of emotion. Well, maybe I am. I just like the idea of a bit of creativity. And I used to work in this place years ago where I've worked with so many people that just bleh, the same stuff over and over again. You like someone says, "Oh fuck you now." I said, "I hope so, because there's no television there." <laughs> you know, like it's I'm sure it's funny when you first hear it, but. Um, and also things like you know when people sneezing bless you what are you a priest now are you a priest are you the Pope why are you blessing me then what where is your uh, have you been ordained how can you bless me it's like how just sneezing all right, so that the devil can't get into you and uh, take over your soul. Really? It's, uh, I don't class myself as being rebellious. And if someone says bless you to me, I just, uh, but I acknowledge it, but I never say bless you to anyone. Because it's just, it's, it's wasted, wasted energy to do that. It means nothing. It only means what it means to the person. I guess it, the meaning is what you give to it, but I give it no meaning, therefore to me it's worth, it's not meaning anything. Andre's in the kitchen, having sex on the kitchen floor. Nice. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear him in the background. Do you want to see? Shall I take you in there to show him? So come on, come with me. Oh, excuse me. And I'm just going to... I just, as soon as he sees me, He's going to probably stop, so I'll just go. You ready? Doesn't like it, I'm coming back. Okay, I'll leave you alone. I'll leave him alone. He hates me filming him. I can't help it, I just find it so cute. He's left the kitchen there, he's gone into the bedroom to probably use my pillow as a revenge. So I love the noise. I can't do it. So it's We laugh. So, um, got no money again. Andre, I'm gonna get in for you. Kill it! Oh, come and say hello to everyone. God, he feels lighter. He must have shot a lot out. He feels lighter. I was only carrying him earlier, about 10 minutes ago, and now he feels lighter than, than he was. Blimey. Hello. Say hello. <laughs> Say hello. Yeah. 
Hey, what's up? He's the most beautiful boy in the world. You are. Yes, you are. Oh. You want to go? All right. That loves you. Mm -hmm. How big he is. Look how big he is. Say goodbye to everyone before you go. Bye bye. <sighs> Got very low energy. Proper, just. Uh, it's not even late. It's what? It's not even 12 o'clock. And I just. I'm going to have something to eat, hopefully that will raise my uh, energy up a bit. When I'm like this, because these are bipolar vlogs, so I'm going to tell you how I'm feeling. Um, when I'm like this, there's a big uh, like negative thing going on where I don't see the point in what I'm doing. Don't see the point in uh, making these sessions. Maybe not necessarily the Jason Chats, but these are the, I mean, th this is the least important thing that I do, the Jason Chats vlogs. It's the hypnosis-y stuff is what's important to me. And I do feel like I want to just stop doing it altogether. Just not do anything. Maybe take a break, take a long break, maybe just don't do it ever again. Uh, I think about the money situation, and the amount of money that's going out every month on this stuff. And I'm thinking about it a bit too much because I mentioned it yesterday, I think. I'm thinking about it because it seems that every day something else is going out of my account or trying to go out of my bank account but can't because I've got no money in there. Um, I've got electric and gas bills come in any day and they're going to be high, I imagine. I've got my dad's birthday coming up so I need to get him a present. I can't afford to get anything decent for him. I know he'd be happy with a bottle of scotch, but I, I'd like to buy him something better, you know? I'd like to get him, I don't know, just a nice present. And when I'm like this, like, am I, am I feeling sorry for myself? Maybe, maybe that's what it is. Maybe I'm feeling sorry for myself. It doesn't feel like that really. It just feels that I'm just, yeah, I'm just low. Not usually low, just not great. Excuse me two seconds. 